Take a hundred people that have pulmonary fibrosis and you look at all the things that we know about their clinical risks, their environmental risks, and then looking at all of the genes that we can map in that individual and say, what is the most important risk for driving pulmonary fibrosis that's shared across those families and that's shared across those patients with sporadic idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis? We find it's this promoter variant of MUC5B. And so what is that? Well, MUC5B is a gene name and a protein, and it stands for a mucin, which is an airway mucus protein. It's basically like snot. It's the gel forming mucus that makes up you know, saliva and, and the, 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 the schmutzy stuff in our airways, all the way from the nose and mouth, all the way down into the lungs, one big shared continuous uh, epithelium. And our airway mucus is made up of two proteins. One is MUC5B and the other is another one called MUC5AC. And in general, there's a pretty fine balance of these two gel forming mucus proteins that make our respiratory tract work normally. And if you think about what's supposed to happen in a human, we're breathing in our environment all the time and we breathe in air and oxygen, but we also also breathe in cologne and smoke and, you know, a bird feather or whatever. And our lung is supposed to be able to basically take the air and the oxygen and do the normal things we do and then get rid of all the other stuff that's not supposed to be in there. And our mucus plays an important role in that. It helps lubricate the environment to let stuff move freely in and out. And What's true is that the people who have this promoter variant, what happens genetically is that they've got something different in their gene signatures such that they make more of that mucus, that MUC5B mucus protein, they make more of it. Because if you think about a gene as a library book, it's not open all the time. We don't need mucus proteins made all the time. And so there's something called a promoter, which is basically a gene signature that gets turned on by various biologic systems that says, okay, time to open the book about mucus proteins and make more of it. And what happens in the promoter variant is that that book is just open a lot more. The promoter is on, it doesn't turn off. And when the promoter's on, it means we just make a lot more of this protein.